Hello everybody, welcome to another game here with Sly Fox. Today we are playing as quirky as the, as the AD carry in the bot lane. We have a Velkaz support, a Zed top, Galio mid, and a Scion jungle. And we are against uh, Varus Nami bottom lane, Malphite top, Fiddlesticks jungle, and Ari in the mid lane. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, here we go. Corky's uh, passive is Hextech Shrapnel Shells. Um, what that does is Corky's basic attacks deal 10%, um, deal bonus damage equal to 10% of his basic attack damage right now is 72 as true damage. So at level 1 I'm dealing an extra 7 true damage every every basic attack, which is pretty cool. Um yeah, his Q is called phosphorus bomb. Uh drop a bomb, it deals a bunch of magic damage and it uh And any targets that you hit, it reveals for uh, six seconds. It doesn't reveal invisible champions. Ooh, that sucks. If we hit that slow, I might have been able to come in. That's okay. Um, hopefully, we can get a level advantage here. Perfect. Uh, my ping is pretty high right now. I do have a video uploading in the background, so hopefully it uh, doesn't bother us too much. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, okay. Maybe I should have got my W first. Or I mean second. Um anyway, Corky's W is Valkyrie. It's actually the longest dash of Okay, that was awesome. Just say good job. <clears throat> it's the longest dash of any AD carry. Uh it's on an absurdly long cooldown. But um Okay. He wants to dive, I guess. Just position aggressively. Um, anyway, yeah, so it's a really, really long dash on a long cooldown. Um, but uh, it also leaves a fire trail in. in uh, And, and the path that you fly over, that deals a bit of damage. Not really much, but... I don't know. If someone's really low, it's enough to stop them from chasing. Wow, this guy is just doing all the work. I'm just, like, picking up kills. Um... He's... he's doing, like, everything. Uh, I am gonna go back right now. A huge advantage on him. Okay. Um, <clears throat> a Corky's E is Gatling gun. In this cone in front of you, you shoot basically. Uh, uh, you shoot a mini gun. So you can see it on the front of his thing there. Um, and everything in that armor takes a little bit of damage and has their armor. Everything within that. I don't know if I said that right. Anything within that cone takes a tiny bit of damage, it's like 20 damage. Um, 
but they also have their armor reduced. Which is really good. Uh, maybe I could have flashed for it. Oh. Uh, good thing I didn't try to flash for it. Because he picked it up anyway. This support's really good. <laughs> I'm just gonna pop a health potion. Oh, I'm, I probably tanked all the minions, that's what I took all my damage from. Um, yeah. So, Selene's going very well. Uh, um, okay, Corky's ultimate. I'll go over that quick, even though I don't quite have it yet. Um, <clears throat> Corky's ultimate is he stacks up um, rockets that he can shoot. They have a really, really long range, um, as you can see with the indicator there, but they are very thin. Um, holy. Uh, so that was interesting. I don't. She just started standing still there. Man, forcing the flash off the jungler too. Wow. I don't even think I need to be in this lane. <laughs> My Valkyrie is up again in just a second. Okay, so there is a word in here. I'm on it, Black Shoe. I want the siege minions. I got it. I got the siege minion. I was really out of position for it. Uh, I'm just gonna ward here. Uh, you really shouldn't use my Valkyrie like I just did, that's just me not being very good. Um, but taking away Fiddle's blue is really good. Uh, Fiddle really needs his blue because his drain costs a lot of mana. And that's basically all of his sustain in the jungle. Um, so, that's pretty awesome. And I did get my ult now, which is good. Um, well, another thing to mention about the alt, after three um, times you shoot it, the next one shoots a larger one that deals bonus damage and has a bigger explosion radius at the end. Um, so, I don't know. I'm sure really good players can manage it and they can poke effectively when they have the big one up. Um, I kind of just say if I hit them with it, then then bonus for me. Um, overall, this game's going really well. My support's got me pretty dang fed already. Um, I have 48 CS. Their Varus has 19, so that's pretty good. Um, he's been just dominating. I think he just got a top laner a kill. Um, I could be wrong about that. Uh, I am just trying to push this back out. Not necessarily, uh, get all the CS. I just, well, I, I was trying to get it, but... Yeah. 
couldn't quite get it, but uh, did force that guy out of lane again. So, doing a really good job of uh, having all the presence in this lane. Uh, I'm pretty sure this guy could be 2v1ing, <laughs> so that's good. Just getting carried by my support. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Um, all I'm doing is really a following up on him almost killing people. Um, gotta remember to mix rockets in with all of my damage because they have a, they're on a two second cooldown and they're really, really good at uh, poking and um, proccing the sheen. I'm gonna go back. Um, so, yeah, I am building Triforce first, but just as you guys I'm sure can see. Um, and the reason you do that is because of these missiles on the two second cooldown. You can, basically every time you shoot a missile, your next auto attack is going to uh, do a lot of damage. And if you're close enough to get a Phosphorus Bomb into the Triforce proc, then it's even more damage. Phosphorus Bomb does a lot, like a lot, a lot of damage. Uh, especially early game. It just has a really high base damage <coughs> on it. So that mix with the Sheen proc is really good. Or the Triforce, I mean. So, uh, the rockets are also fairly good for wave clear. Uh, unless you just missed the wave like I did. So they are playing really safe. Our Velkaz does have a sight stone. Uh, I'm just gonna ward that bush. I don't wanna get hit by a fiddle ult. This is basically the reason that I did that. Oops, I should have used a rocket there. Uh, Phosphorus Storm does cost a fair bit of mana. That's why I'm a bit sad that I used it there. Um, but it should be okay. Alright. Don't need to take all Gallius. Yes, I just want to push this tower. I'm just going to shoot off missiles to get my Triforce procs, take it down faster. Okay, so we do have good ward coverage around here. I don't think I need to help that. <laughs> oh. Trying to get his uh, bird on me. Um, we're all pretty low. I wonder if they're just gonna try to push. Uh, whatever. I'm gonna get the attack speed boots, I think. Um, lots of people will get the magic pen boots just because all of Corky's abilities deal magic damage, like even his missiles. So you can poke a lot harder if you get the. Uh, magic pen boots. Um, but 
the Berserker Screams are good for uh, for extended fights, so uh, I like getting them. Maybe as I become a more experienced Corky player, I will I'll switch. But for right now, I I like playing him similar to a regular ADC, even though he's more of a caster carry. Um, does Diff at all have their blue? Yes, he does. So no point in going to try to get that. Um, are they all missing from mid lane? Am I going to get Fiddle ulted over a wall? That was good. Um, I did get two kills. We also got two kills. Um, so that's okay. Uh, she did get the shutdown on me. That's gonna let her back in the game pretty quick. I should have, I guess, just gone um, further off to the side, I guess. Um, Your team has destroyed the current. I'm gonna get a Blade of the Rune King second, just because I want some life steal. Um, an enemy has been slain. And then I'll probably go into an Infinity's Edge. And I don't really know after that. Uh, we'll see how fights are going. If I'm getting bursted, I might pick up uh, either a Banshee's or a Guardian's Angel, depending on how it's going. Um, but for now, we're good. Alright, so, like I said, I got super fed. I can deal tons of damage now. So I'm okay. The team wants to do dragon. I'm just gonna push this out and then go help them. Oh no, I guess they're fighting mid. Okay. Either way, I'm coming. Oh, there's an Ari. Didn't know if anybody was in that bush. Okay, they're all pretty much bot lane. I'm just gonna start this. I shouldn't be standing on that side of everybody. Because standing on that side of everybody will get me killed. Tower is really close to being dead, and we do have a minion wave here. They are all here now. So, okay, just gonna do that quick. Deny that teleport, which is pretty awesome. And then 
come sit behind this wall, and hopefully the Ari will come out. <laughs> but it doesn't look like she's going to. Oh! Ain't that interesting. Oh, don't hit by the way. Alright, I got two. Um, Alright, that's fine. So they had a ward over that wall. <laughs> so that kind of sucked. I got Charm into Bubble, into Malphite ulted. Uh, I am really far ahead though. So I didn't die from it, which is pretty amazing. <coughs> um, I would have thought that would have killed me really quickly. But, alas, I was alive. So, let's pick up Fuhrer Boots, because I've heard that they're really good on AD carries, so I want to learn how to play with them. A bit better. Good for kiting and stuff. Um, I have 13 kills, so I am kind of the one that needs to carry this. Well, not really, I mean like our whole team is doing amazing. But I do have over half of our team's kills. So, um, I should actually start trying to give them to my teammates maybe. See if this guy keeps pushing. Uh, if he... He's dead, then I'm gonna come behind him. Alright. I did flash for it just because I wanted to kill him. Uh, that's what happens when you get bloodthirsty. Probably shouldn't have. I probably should have just pushed him out of lane and said that's enough of that. Uh, but. Uh, that's just me being greedy. I could have just bladed the Rune King to him too, so he couldn't get too far. And I could just kill him with my missiles. Um, but that's okay. I'm just gonna sit here for a minute, farm the wave. I do have wards around me, so I'm pretty safe. Also, everyone's top. Um, and I should have a decent sized minion wave coming. I'm just gonna do that. I know me and Varus both don't have flash, but he doesn't have any cap closers. And that fiddle fear made me tank a lot more tower shots than I wanted to. Uh, so I'm just gonna head back. Uh, next I'm gonna get the Infinity's Edge. I'm actually gonna save up for the BF Sword. <coughs> just cause I'm far enough ahead right now, I have all the damage I need. I can, I can take the extra time to just farm up. And uh, and get the even more damage. Um, so uh, we're doing really well on our team. Me, the Galio. Oh, zero zero eleven. That's awesome. Uh, Velkaz four two and eleven. That's good too. Zed four four and one. He's doing pretty good. And the Scion's doing pretty good. Uh, so mostly just Velkaz. And oh boy. That looks like a dangerous time. Oh wow, I have a heal still. Oh man. Wow. So, I need to get my last whisper. Maybe I should go for that next. I probably should, uh, but I really want that. <laughs> no, I really should get the last whisper because you saw, like, I played that really bad. Um, I didn't, I because I don't have any armor shred yet. I was not able to kill that guy very quickly. Um, I thought I would be able to. That's why I Valkyrie forward to get a little bit of extra magic damage, but he, um. Yeah, he just tanked it and and then bopped me. So I should have healed and Valkyrie away, um, playing like an AD carry should. But uh, 
But that was just me misplaying it. I thought I'd be able to get him um, faster. Once I get this last whisper, that problem should be alleviated a bit. So I only need a couple hundred more gold. So just farm. Oh, I think that I'm coming for this. So that went well. Got the dragon. I do have enough for my last whisper. This is major to the I'm just gonna tell my team that I'm leaving quick. Um, An enemy has been slain. And then going back into the fight. Um, how much is my passive dealing? Does it tell me? Uh, 10%. Uh, okay, I guess I can just calculate it. That's 21, probably 22 rounded up. I would imagine they don't just truncate it. I'd imagine they round it. So I'd put it at 22 uh, true damage on every basic attack, which isn't a ton, but if you can get a lot off, like it's on, especially on tanks, that is helpful. So I just gotta stay at the back. Don't use my Valkyrie unless I need to really get out of something. I'm gonna try to just poke with my ult. Uh, it doesn't seem to be going too well. Wow! Yeah, I couldn't get away from him. I flashed, I healed, I bladed the Rune King, I W'd. Um, that was my bad, I just wasn't far enough back. Basically, oh, our Zed's here now, so that's cool. Um, you should be able to just like, dagger her and kill her for one auto. Alright. Okay, so that was good. I don't know why these guys aren't hitting the tower. Um, I guess they're just trolling, but they really shouldn't be. Because Corky falls off a little bit late game. I think Ferris only gets stronger as the game goes on. Um, I just his tank busting power is really good. Ari's really good late game. Fiddlesix is amazing late game. Malphite's amazing late game, and she's amazing late game. Although, all of our team is pretty good late game as well. Perky is the only one on our team that really falls off. But I'm super far ahead, so... Um, I'm kind of hoping that doesn't matter too, too much. There is a Malphite around this corner. Uh, it looks like we have a Zed split pushing, which is awesome. Oh boy. Okay. So, our bell cause appears to be getting caught a little bit. That was well done. Ah! Ah! Oh my goodness! I I need to be playing a lot more safe. This is how you throw the game as an AD carry. You get super fed and then you just let them engage only on you every single fight. Uh, so I really need to stop that. Uh, it looks like they are actually trying to get objectives this time. So that's good. Um, like especially with that split pushing, if I just stayed back here, um, I would have been able to not get engaged on because they were all stuck over here. So if I could just poke at basically my max missile range, 
um, and let Zed do his thing, and once they left, just take the tower for free. Um, that's what I should have done. Um, just because it would have been the safer thing to do. Like, when I did that, um, I pretty much gave them like this fight here, uh, which I'm assuming is going to end poorly for us. Um, oh. So, uh, I'm just going to go take this red buff. Uh, so I need to start playing uh, a lot more passively. Um, just gonna farm up a bit whilst they are clearing out their base. Uh, Velkos is at full build. Which I'm really not surprised about. He's been playing amazing. I don't know like, what rank he is or anything. Um, okay, let's get out of here. I stole their blue effectively. Um, actually, I can't buy anything, so I'm just gonna stay with my team. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go bottom lane. Um, because if we can just push here, they have to defend super minions on those two lanes, and my team is mid. So I'll just be able to take that inhibitor for free, and then we can do whatever we want. I mean, we kind of already are, just because we're up quite a bit. But, uh... So just huge kill steal on that. Don't uh, not even gonna like try to claim that I did anything. Just gonna thank them for the free kill. Ooh, try to take that one with the rock. All right. So that was a great game. Thank you to this Valkos support. If anybody sees this Valkos support, uh, his name is. Stock S T O C H A S T I C 42. Could you just like say something to him? Be like, hey, thanks for being a god. That'd be that'd be great. Uh, Cause he was amazing. Um, got me incredibly fed and got his our entire team incredibly fed. Basically held us in the game while I was trying to throw. <laughs> so uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And that's that's Corky for you. Uh, shown at like. What, how, how well it can go when you're ahead. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a wonderful day.